seem to have missed a week. I seem to have missed a week. Last time you um, saw me here, I was doing week nine, I think. I was telling you week nine. I missed the week. Uh, where I had lost uh, five pounds. Is that right? I was on a bus telling you about it. Well, another week went by and I forgot to make a video. I've been crazy busy uh, and I forgot to make a video. But the week after that, uh, it's quite remarkable, but I lost another 5.8 pounds. And then this week that's just gone, I lost another three pounds. Uh, so I have one week to go. <laughs> Video wise, I've kind of skipped two weeks. So this video is going to be called week uh, 10 and 11. And I'm now into week 12, which is the final week of my dieting. Um, and I'm not going to tell you the final amount. Uh, and that I've lost until the very last video and I'll show you again what I was like right at the very start so there'll be that comparison there. Now it's actually been difficult because I've been super busy uh, which means I've been away from here and sort of on the road a little bit and usually what I've been doing is taking uh, the, the shakes with me when I go to work uh, and I, for I packed them all away in a bag, got them all ready uh, to take with me and um, then went away and it was only when I was actually traveling that I realized I'd left that little bag behind and I hadn't brought any shakes with me at all so I was going to be away for like 72 hours and it was a bit of a dilemma because I have to eat something so I thought I'll have some salad based stuff and I actually um, foolishly had um, an egg and cress sandwich from Marks and Spencer's which are very nice egg and cress sandwiches but it's the first thing I, I'd eaten and it's because I've been totally detoxed from food and sugar that uh, it had a peculiar effect on me it gave me horrible heartburn uh, no, you thought I was going to say something else didn't you it had gave me horrible heartburn so all night long I, was, I just couldn't sleep and I had to sleep sort of upright uh, so I now think I have an intolerance to wheat which I kind of thought I did, but I thought I had it before just because I was glutting out on it. But just even like, you know, a sandwich now uh, gets my heartburn going. I also felt bloated on a sandwich. Um, so my diet is right down. Um, and I'm already talking to the guys uh, on the Aviva app uh, about what's going to happen next. And I'm telling them that I want to continue taking the shakes plus a slow introduction to the food, which is what they do. They sort of recommend you have two shakes, uh, two meals that are shakes a day, and then one sort of like high protein, 400 cal meal uh, for the rest of the day. So they're trying to keep me to this like 800, under 900 calories a day intake, which is, you know, completely doable. I'm completely happy with that. I'm not getting hungry at all. Uh, by the way, I wanted to show you something before I move on. There's a tub. One empty tub, there's another empty tub, and three empty tubs of, uh, and that, this is what I've sort of had so far, three empty tubs of this stuff, uh, and I've still got three left. So I've got plenty of, um, I've got plenty of them, um, I can't believe those three massive tubs have been through my system, but they have, and they've sustained me for, for 11 weeks. Uh, I'm going into my 11th week, and let me tell you how things are. Well, one, I've got energy, and I'm, I, can, I can do loads of things again. Um, I'm going through quite a lot of stress with stuff happening at the moment, so um, I'm having a little bit of anxiety, uh, but I'm not sure if that's related to the food or not. Um, and when I say anxiety, it's not mild worry, it's kind of like dehabilitating um, anxiety attacks, I guess, or episodes, uh, which is just, you know, not, not. I mean, I I, I can control them, but uh, they, they've kind of like I've popped up uh, and I'm quite surprised by that. And I'm not sure if it's diet related. Uh, I've been feeling a little bit dizzy and I'm not sure if that's related to anxiety or if that's related to the diet. Uh, I didn't feel good when I didn't take my shakes with me. Um, although I'm completely convinced having these shakes is completely healthy 
uh, it did make me realize that this is a very sort of controlled um, process I'm going through and you can't really miss out on your shakes you can't be doing that certainly not all four for a day or like me 72 hours so it was very very difficult and now I'm absolutely you know I make it impossible for me to forget them because I hang them on the doorknob before I go out in the door uh, I put them in a bag and I hang them on the doorknob and that's how it is now um, so I've um, I'm, I'm doing pretty good and I'm thinking about the next stage so I'll be going although I've done my 12 weeks of shakes uh, I've still got the rest of the year pretty much another um, another three months of basically being reintroduced to food. Um, I, I want to lose more weight. Um, I do. I have lost a lot of weight, but what I'm left with is sag, uh, and that's because I'm not working any of the um, any of the muscle groups at all. So I'm going to start. I'm I'm going to start exercising even more but muscle related exercise so that's sit-ups um, and weights um, and I'll also be doing a little bit of cardio walking to try and combat the stress issue that's reared its head and I know as I say I know none of these I'm associating with uh, the shakes particularly so this is just what happens when, when you have weight loss I'm uh, wowing doctors they've um, you know their jaws have hit the ground when I tell them I've nearly lost five stone um, uh, in 12, <laughs> I will probably have lost about five stone in 12 weeks, uh, which is just a disgraceful amount of weight to lose. Uh, and I feel absolutely brilliant for it. Now today I did something extremely naughty. I had a little bit of Domino's pizza. And I can tell you from becoming the number one purchaser of pizzas in this town in which I live, because they told me I was, <laughs> um, I had the food that I used to love uh, I had a slice of it uh, just because I wanted to see what it was like and I was amazed um, the sugar content in a pizza I couldn't believe it barbecue sauce the um, the dip stuff that you get I couldn't believe how sweet it was I haven't had any sugar uh, for you know for 12, 11 weeks no sugar at all and just eating a pizza, it just tasted like sugar. So sweet. I mean, so sweet. I couldn't eat it. Now, I could get a full-size uh, Domino's pizza and devour at least half of it in an evening. You know, it's like 500 calories a slice or something. So I'm glad I did it. I also felt a bit ill. Um, and I suppose that's because my system's not used to having sort of solid foods. But more than anything, it made me realise, ugh. You know, no offense, Domino's, um, but not for me anymore. So I definitely think there's a rewiring gone on. And I don't want to tempt myself. I don't want to start taking sugar because of the diabetic element to my life, uh, which the doctor thinks is probably disappearing. But we can't say you'll be... When you when you get diagnosed as diabetes 2, I think you're monitored for like two years before they say, yeah, you're clear. So, because um, there are people who aren't even overweight who've got really high blood sugar counts and blood pressure counts and whatnot. So, um, I'm pleased about that. I'm pleased at my reaction to bad food. So now I'm turning my full attention to more uh, savoury based, healthy, protein based, cooked foods, unprocessed foods. And I know I sound like a preachy little dietitian y type person, but that's not something I'm doing because, hey, I'm going to lose weight and you're not. I'm doing it because that's what I want to do. That's what my body and my taste buds and everything's saying. That's what you find attractive and tasty now. And also, not a lot of it. I can't have much because I just don't want much. I can train myself to glutton out until I'm bloated and I'm falling over and I need to go and lie down. But I don't really want that. I just want, I'm now in the habit of thinking, right, it's time for food, having a little bit of it, um, like a shake, and then thinking, right, that's it. That's your meal supplement dealt with. Um, obviously, when I eat food that's cooked and stuff, I can appreciate its taste and, and everything that I've done to it to make it taste nice, like a nice burrito or something. Um, but it's, it's, it's going to be less about volume. So that's going to be cheaper for me as well. Um, now, I've been getting quite a few messages from people who are also taking up this diet, and some people have done it uh, inspired by watching these videos. I know I don't get many views on these videos, uh, but I really appreciate everyone letting me know their stories and that they're doing it. Um, I do have to say this has worked for me or is working for me. Um, I can't say it's going to work for everybody. 
Um, people say, you know, you know, well done. You a lot of um, took a lot of willpower on my part to do it, and it, it really didn't. It was like uh, I had to. It was medicine. You know, it was tasty shake medicine, and uh, that's how I look at it. I don't look at it. Um, I don't look at the bad food I had before as something that was a treat. I think that's a mistake. It's damaging stuff. And I think um, if you like that kind of thing, then go for it. You know, I don't, it, but I'm, and I'm not going to be sanctimonious about it. I think I will. I'll probably have a Burger King, you know, sometime in the future. But it won't be the same before. It'll be my number one thing to go for. It's like, what do I want to eat today? Well, is it Chad McDonald's, Burger King, Domino's? fry up yeah these are all foods that well not not the pizzas anymore not not for me um and i do have this thing about you know if i went to have a pizza express because i used to always have a fiorentina pizza and i'm just thinking how salty that would be because salt something i've not had not had any salt for sure nothing i've had nothing just just shakes oh, i'm trying to think if i could face a strawberry shake like a, a proper one proper one it's probably going to be too sugary it's kind of weird it's like a reprogramming and it's going to it'd be so easy for me to uh, get addicted to sugar and salt and stuff again uh, i just have to be careful i don't so um see if there's any sort of numbers i can tell you my blood um sugar is normal again my blood pressure is normal again as i say i've got a lot of um, stress going on at the minute um sorry i'm just getting these numbers up i started out weighing 334.9 uh, pounds that's heavy um i now have lost uh, i won't tell you the exact amount but the equivalent of 16 uh nearly 17 house bricks so imagine getting a brick like a you know like a a, a brick <laughs> a normal standard size red brick get get 16 of them and put them on your arms like that and try and hold them up that 16 of those is kind of the weight i've lost which is just astonishing um i'm in week 11 i'm now 269.6 uh pounds um that's 19.26 stone i know that's still very heavy uh i want to get down to something like 16 or 17 so I've still got like a couple of stone to go. Um, but I also want to work on the flab. I'm thinking about joining the gym. Because now I'm not so embarrassed about going. And I feel like I've got energy to go. Um, I think I might quite enjoy it. I might sort of make it like a really early morning pursuit. But I'm not sure about that yet. Um, but yeah, if I'm losing like 0 0.2, 0 0.4 of a stone every week. And I just keep going. Uh, it can't be a good, it can be a bad thing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, let me know your stories about doing this weight loss. Have you started it? Uh, how's it going for you? Uh, if I can give advice or thoughts, I'm happy to do so. Uh, just put something down in the comments um, and let me know how you're getting on. Um, I'll do, be doing my. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to make these videos more sort of monthly once I finish my 12 weeks. But I will do a final video where I look across you know everything i've done in the last 12 weeks and how i was and compare then till now uh in the next video which uh, uh today is wednesday so next monday i do my final weigh-in uh sort of the of the shake diet uh, and then i'll continue to do like a monthly update or something like that uh, to let you know how i'm going uh, right up until i complete the full 12 months uh, so i've done three months and i've now got um What's that? Four, four, five, six, seven. So that's six, seven, eight, nine months to go. It's a never-ending process of uh, life-changing, re-education of the brain, rewiring of how you think and what your and your taste buds and everything. And it's it's really good. So if you have any questions, put them down below. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, and uh, I hope it's going well for you. Uh, until the next video, which will be in a few days' time, uh, where I'll do my final weigh-in. Uh, Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and cheerio.